So speaking of igniting, I wanted to take this opportunity to think to turn the clock back on somebody who ignited the passion that still lives in many of us, or lives in all of us in this room, and many of us outside of this room as well. From our Chairman Emeritus, Mr. Ronald B. Joy. We're all mourning his passing, we're remem and in the process we're remembering really what it meant for somebody like Mr. Joyce to champion a cause like this. To this day, some of the things that Mr. was true to Mr. Joyce have stayed with us. Those of you who have heard the stories about him after his first summer, you know, back in the 70, in 75, opening a camp with a, an old fishing camp that he found and a bunch of volunteers and a broken down old school bus. And these were his words. He said, you know, at the end of that summer, we took, we got, found an underprivileged camp, put in an underprivileged bus, and we sent a bunch of underprivileged kids to it. Let's change that dynamic. This has to be about excellence and about an experience that's beyond compare, that truly makes a lasting impact. That philosophy stayed with us till this day, and all of us are in Mr. Joyce's debt. As a matter of fact, I don't think probably we wouldn't be sitting here tonight if it wasn't for Ron Joyce's vision. So I hope that all of you can uh, uh, take a few moments and we're going to show a quick video that uh, recognizes in, uh, Mr. Joyce and you'll see him in the video talking about the camps and the way he felt about them. So please take a moment and we'll watch the video with Mr. Joyce. The foundation story began with hope and inspiration. The foundation was created in 1974 in the memory of a great hockey player and friend, Tim Horton. The first camp in Perry Sound is a memorial to Tim Horton. The other camps were built because the store owners wanted to help more children. There are so many marvelous things for young people that go to our camps who probably wouldn't have the opportunity to do it otherwise. The growth of the foundation has been driven by the Tim Horton store owners because they are the ones who believe, along with a lot of us, that it's a, a very worthwhile endeavor. Today, we mourn a great man with an incredible legacy, a pioneer of corporate philanthropy, and celebrate all that he made possible. Together, we have changed over 275,000 lives and built seven unique camps. We are so grateful for the incredible support and sponsorship from individuals, corporate partners, community groups, and friends of the foundation and to our founding partner, Tim Hortons. Without you, none of this is possible. We are grateful for your investment in youth across Canada and the United States. Grateful for your commitment to the power of camp to change lives. Grateful for your belief that when youth thrive, communities thrive. We are so grateful to be your foundation for over 40 years. Here's to the next 40. If you haven't had an opportunity yet to view our uh, most recent gratitude report, which is our annual report, we need to make sure we get a copy to you, either a physical version or an online version. In it, it talks about a day that we are very, um, we're just thrilled that happened. Uh, it was a day in Tadamagush last fall when we took the opportunity to invite Mr. Joyce back to camp in Tadamagush in his hometown. We rededicated the, main, the camp's main lodge now called the Ronald B. Joyce House. And he joined us for a day with so many restaurant owners and uh, relived the memories that he held dear. So on behalf of all of us, it's our honor and privilege to carry on his legacy. And it's my honor to be recognizing and speaking about uh, Mr. Joyce and everything that he made possible that we're all celebrating here tonight. Thank you.